Hi, I'm Severio from Hornet Plugins and today I want to show you in this video how to use the custom compensation curve that you may use in the latest 31 equalizer. 31 is a spectrum analyzer and the 31 bands graphic equalizer with a handy auto EQ that tries to minimize the frequency masking between each frequency band and to help you to get more clarity and definition from your mixes. It's uh, ideal when used uh, on the master bus to uh, give the right tonal shape to your, to your final mix. Uh, auto EQ can be used in uh, two different ways. Uh, in static and continuous mode, we will focus today on the continuous mode that is designed to continuously work uh, adjusting uh, each band as the sound changes. I will use a pretty slow um, integration time of 4 seconds because I want to uh, give a general shaping, general tone shaping to the, the track I'm using as an example here. And uh, I will show you how to use the custom compensation curve to uh, give your custom sound to the auto -Q algorithm. I will first uh, start with uh, the compensation disabled so uh, we can hear how the auto -Q is going to adjust this track that is uh, a little bit too bass sounding and uh, lacks, lacks uh, some definition in the high mids. So, I'm putting my headphones on and you uh, will hear how the auto EQ uh, fixes the track. So, the fix that uh, the auto Q made is uh, really good in my opinion and it improves clarity and uh, gives punch to the track. But, as you can see from the, cu from the uh, curve obtained here, uh, it's working uh, a little bit too much on the very low frequency and a little bit too much on the very high frequencies. We don't want that because uh, uh, it, we risk to get in, uh, in to the track uh, the low rumble or uh, the high noise hiss. So uh, we will use the custom compensation curve and uh, adjust uh, these three faders here. When you, the custom compensation curve is selected and uh, one of the auto Q modes is enabled, clicking on any of the faders will let you see the custom curve actually used and you can see that right now it's completely flat but uh, if I drag this fader down here let's say I want to apply an offset of 3 minus 3 dB you see that now if I click on any other fader I see this one that is uh, offset by 3 dB I want to apply another small offset here to this one and also this one here I want to have minus 3 dB. Now let's uh, play the track again and see how the faders are changed according to the offset we gave to the custom curve.
So as you have seen, while the, tra while the track was playing, I adjusted the, these three faders. I was going to use an example as an example and I adjusted them uh, as much as needed to make them not move too much while the auto cue was in action uh, because uh, as uh, we said before they were unwanted frequency adjustments but let's say that I have uh, too much 400 Hz that may be possible because the auto cue had added uh, more than 2 dBs of, uh, at, at that frequency so I can adjust that fader too So now I had, I obtained a more uh, a smoother curve that is uh, working uh, the same in way uh, in improving uh, the track sound. Now I let you hear the difference be between the um, non curve and the custom one that we just uh, made. I also bypass the EQ to hear the difference between the uh, automatic adjusted and original sound. As you have probably heard, the NAN curve with no adjustment at all is probably too bright for the track. The custom one we did is just perfect in my opinion and both are infinitely better than the original sound that uh, I let you heard when I bypassed the EQ. The original sound was a little bit too dull and lacked definition and punch and uh, was not exciting at all. But with this uh, automatic uh, EQ that we added with this custom curve, we reached the right sound for uh, the, this track. If I wanted to have a more dramatic effect, I could have uh, uh, added more EQ with uh, the auto EQ amount knob. The risk is to have uh, too much effect, uh, just for the sake of experimentation, i let you hear how it sounds. heard that when uh, the auto cue amount is set to 100% it actually cuts too many lows and uh, adds too many highs in this particular track so I will stick it to 50% that is just perfect. So this is uh, Hornet 31 and I just show you how to use uh, the custom curve to adjust the algorithm, the auto algorithm to your taste and the track that you are working on. 31 is available on www.hornetplugins.com you can download the demo to try it out before you buy it and if you have of course any suggestion just, uh, just don't hesitate to write us. Thank you very much for watching.